on my way to the bank um, today. It's about to be a busy day, you guys. Uh, I had a total of six clients split up from the first half to the second half of my day, but now I'm down to five, so that makes it a little less hectic. It's only 8.33 now. My first client, my first uh, client, my first client is at 11 o'clock. Um, and then also two of my kids have martial arts today. So I've got a bag packed with their uniforms as well as some lunch and snacks and stuff because the two middle kids are gonna be with me all day at work, well, all afternoon and evening at work. So you gotta make sure the kids are entertained, you know? Which means also I'm gonna charge my iPad and my work phone because they like to use my work phone. Um, and I've got my lunch pack because your girl just keeps putting on weight. So girl, I got celery, cucumbers, tomato, stuff like that because Mm -mm. We got to get this together. This does not feel right to me. And I'm going to get it together. But uh, you got to learn how to give yourself grace here and there too. Speaking of cucumbers, I want one. Um, I need to get water for work. So anyway, I'm at the ATM now. At Bank of America to deposit some money um, into my business account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I will see you guys at the studio. If you guys want to, like, want to see me, don't mind my nails. Pack, um, or, like, get ready at home for work. Let me know. Like, if you want to see how my day, like, truly flows, let me know in the comments below. But, yeah, let me handle this, and then I'll see you guys at the studio. All right, so we're in the studio and I'm in the storage closet slash a little, I guess, break area <laughs> where I keep my refrigerator and my microwave. I got all kinds of stuff falling out this fridge. So I'm gonna show you guys what, what kind of things I put in my, um, what kind of things I put in the fridge for myself and for the kids and like what I do to, prepare for me having them um with me on Wednesdays because that's what the schedule is so at home I already prepared two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches um I've got cuties some cookies little cookie snacks here and then whatever was left of the um, Ritz crackers they love Ritz crackers so this will be considered like their I guess part of their after school snack slash dinner um some of it is going to be along with their dinner now usually what i will do is pack leftovers for dinner because i don't like them eating a bunch of junk or anything like that but today was not that day or last night was not that night so what i also have is some hot pockets that they can heat up if they are still hungry um i've got some these little snacks I've got these cheese and cracker snacks they're obviously not going to eat all this cheese and all these you know little things but it's just for whenever they're here um I've got some fruit cups I already had fruit cups in here which is only which is why I only have two um typically it's just my middle two that come so sometimes I do only purchase two items at a time um or two you know what i mean so for myself for dinner i'm probably gonna eat this depending on how full or not full i am off of this this i'm gonna eat throughout the day um breakfast and lunch and then i'll probably eat that for dinner so let's put this in the fridge then i already have juice boxes in here i also got them some chewy bars and yes, I'm putting the Chewy Bars in the fridge because that's how they like them. For myself, I've got some more coffee creamer. And then I picked up some more coffee. 
So I realized I didn't have any decaf options here. So I picked up some decaf. And this is for home. I just grabbed this um, because I want to make some French roast coffee. Or not French roast. I want to make it in my French press so I can have some iced coffee. And then I just picked up a couple of these essential waters. These are for me. And the kids drink water as well. I have... Um, I have water here already, like the big jug of water, but I like the essentials for myself and I, I, they were already cold, so my other water wasn't cold yet. So I needed one cold one for today. And like I said, they got, they have juice boxes. I'm gonna leave this one out for now and I will show you guys what it looks like all full. And then the door, don't mind my toes. And then now I'm about to go stock up the little, wait, why is this not closing? Some things are, all right. So I'm going to add some of these regular um, bowl and basket cups of coffee. So this is the donut shop blend. I'm going to add a couple of these decaf. I like decaf when when I'm already like too anxious and jittery I drink decaf because I like coffee for the taste and I know a lot of people don't but I do I like the taste of coffee I think I'm going to do a roll of that and then So that's what it looks like all full. I do need to get some more of the little individual creamers. Um, but for now I have enough. And like I said, I have some in the refrigerator as well. So we've got plenty. Our syrups are doing pretty good. Um, I've got some powdered creamer over there. I have a little mini French press over here too. So I could technically brew some coffee here too. But I haven't used that one yet. I don't know why. But yeah. And then this is the jug of water that I always keep here that I was telling guys about. So I just wanted to show you guys this. So in here I have the kids martial arts uniforms. And then this is for the baby because she, go, she goes with my mother um, on Wednesdays. So those are her pajamas so that she is nice and ready when I go to pick her up. And I've just got it in this cute little pink duffel bag and they will be ready to go with mommy.
All right, so for my brow tint, I use a combina combination of things. There's no real rhyme or reason. Um, for developer, I use whatever developer I have on hand. Um, today, I'm using the Intensive Developer. So I'm just going to shake that up. For tint, I'm going to use a combination of the Natural Brown brown Tint by Refecto Cell. Um, and then I'm going to use the True Black by Lash Stuff. Uh, I don't like using just straight black. And sometimes the brown is not dark enough. So what I do is mix them because then it gives um it gives a good natural brow color, especially for like either my darker haired or darker skinned girls. So what we're gonna do is equal parts. I always make too much of this stuff. Um it's just inevitable. I always make too much. So yeah, so I end up wasting a lot of product and I'm trying to figure out a way to not waste too much um but yet still have enough because i always feel like i don't have enough and ignore this big old pimple on my chin and of course it'll be right right there so anyway i've got my black and i've got my black and my brow tint i've got my black and my brown tint in here and then i'm just going to do equal parts for the um, developer, and then I'm going to use. I'm gonna put these back first. I'm going to use a wax stick. Sometimes I use a wax stick. Sometimes I use a micro swab. I'm gonna mix this up. Now this I'm doing super super early. I usually don't do it this early. It's 9:30, and my client doesn't come till 11. Uh, the 11 o'clock is my brow tint and so I usually at least do 20 minutes before just so that I can let the developer set but this will be fine um, I've done it before doesn't mess anything up but I will cover the tint because I don't want anything just kind of like you know any dust or particles or anything like that flying in here so I'll cover it with um, either saran wrap or an esthetician wipe. All right, so it's all mixed up there. You wanna mix it up really well. Really well. So I always have saran wrap because I do brow um, lifts or brow lamination, whatever you wanna call it. So we're just gonna cover that up and let it develop. I also use this. So I bought this. Um, what is this called? It is called. It's something brown. Let's see. I think this is by Brow Code. Yeah. So I used their system, their henna system before. It's okay. I think I have to try other colors. I only bought the dark brown um, henna and it just was not deep enough for me. It didn't last long. So I'm going to give it another shot with a darker color. But I do still use their cream cleanser. So I cleanse the brow first. Uh, depending on your skin, I might use their uh, brow scrub. So if you have like drier skin or if we're in the winter time or something like that, uh, I will use a brow scrub, but most of the time I just go in with the cream cleanser and clean your brow. And then uh, when I am all done, um, like I said, I'll go in with the clean cleanser, cream cleanser before. And then when I am all done, I do, um, I actually use my lash shampoo and um, some distilled water to clean off the brow when I'm all said and done. So this is my setup for my brow wax slash tint and we are ready for our first client.
<sighs> okay. So, my brow tint client did not show up. Not sure why. Um, so, there's that. I just took my light volume client. And then I'm going to pre prep for tonight's clients. My first one will be a volume. Then I have a full set of acrylic. And then I have a classic fill. Uh, so, I'm already set up. Halfway set up for my volume client. This will be my classic fill I'm just going to put these over here that's there I'm going to refill this container with some more glue rings I just uh, I keep my lint free white uh, containers because they're good for storage. I wish I could fit the rest of these in here. So I just filled that up. And we've got a lid, so we're good to go. The rest of these I'll just put back in my drawer. I do need to make some more lash baths, but not today. I still have two, four, six left, so we're good for today. I think I'll make those this weekend. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make this just a day in the life. I think so. I think I'll just make a couple of day in the lives. And this weekend we have something fun. So I'm going to do a vendor event. Um, and I'm going to do some brow and lip waxing while I'm there. I'm so sorry for the congestion. I Like I need to stop apologizing because it is what it is. And my allergies are in full fledged. And it's not going to go anyway. Uh, it's not going to go away anytime soon. So, just know that I'm going to sound stuffy when you talk to me. Or when, you know what I mean. Okay. So, I'm going to prep my volume clients lashes the only thing is I'm not sure how she wants them so I feel like I should just wait yeah I think we'll just, just wait um I'll at least take these out now Yeah, I'll just wait till she gets here and I'll just do the lashes here. Let me just see, because I don't know if I like these tweezers. I feel like... I feel like maybe it's a little bit... Let me see if I can bend it back. Like right at the tip. And when you bend your tweezers, typically it's... It's done. If I can pick up and pull properly, I am kind of hungry, but not really. So I don't think I'm gonna get anything. <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna heat anything up right now. Okay, all right. It's actually not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. All right, so I'm back at work. I didn't take the camera with me. Well, I took it with me because it's my phone. But I didn't record when I went to go pick up the kids. First, I actually went home and took a nap because, girl, I was exhausted. I took a nap. I went to drop the baby off. Got the other two. They're here having their, um, like, after-school snack and getting ready. And I am going to finish setting up until my next client. Hey, coming up. So shout out to Nori. Shout out to DJ EFN.
All right, so I have two more clients to go. I am about to do my nail client in a minute, and I will take a picture or video of when she's done. Has gone crazy in 2020, and if we could just help bring a little happiness, a little joy to some of these families. All right, so I'm home. I'm exhausted. It was a long day, but everything worked out pretty good. Um, I didn't film my last client, which was the classic film, because I was just over it at that point, but I've been home for a little while now. I think I got home about 10, 15, so yeah, I'm tired, and I'm hungry, but I don't think I'm getting up to get any food. Good night. See you in the next video.